Well, it's been four days since another inmate died while in the custody of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, and now his family demanding access to anyone who was around him before he was found unresponsive. Tracy and McPeer talked with the family of Chandra Delmore today. Chandra Delmore was found unresponsive here at the Fulton County Jail on August 31st. He died three days later at Grady Hospital. Now his family tells me he died from cardiac arrest, but they want to know what caused it. He didn't deserve to die like this. Natasha Holloman says her son Chandra Delmore was a healthy 24 year old when he was arrested in April for second degree burglary. So his death this week in custody at the Fulton County Jail leaves her devastated. I want to know what happened to my son. I want to know why he had to die. Delmore was found unresponsive at the jail on August 31st. He spent three days at Grady Hospital before he died. And at a press conference Thursday, attorney Ed Jones said they have a number of concerns. Attempts to revive him were delayed uh, until emergency medical services were present. Um, there were deficient uh, equipment available there to revive Mr. Delmore. The Fulton County Medical Examiner is performing an autopsy to determine Delmore's cause of death, but the family tells us they were told it was cardiac arrest. Attorney Mawuli Davis questioning how a 24 year old dies from a heart attack. So now Delmore's family and attorneys are demanding access to surveillance video and anyone who was around Delmore before he was found unresponsive. And Davis wants the jail to go even further, saying they should release inmates if they can't be kept safe. Since September of 2022, 17 people have died while in custody of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office. It has to be immediately, immediately, someone has to come in and take control, um, and we have to clear out the people that are there. I mean, this is a death trap. Now, the family mailed the letter demanding full access to evidence at the jail today. The sheriff's office tells me they have not yet received that letter. At the Fulton County Jail, Tracy A. McPeer, 11 Alive News.